Hey my friends, what's down? Loke is here and I draw my way out of depression. Okay, let's go. This time we will try to draw on a normal canvas with these two sharpies. All right. Right from the start, I kind of realized that I made a mistake by choosing this canvas to draw on. I mean, it, it's good for making artworks, but it's just not suitable for markers. Because I don't know if you can see here, the surface of the canvas is not smooth, not sleek at all. I, I, I bought the canvas from a local store. It's not even a store where I normally buy art supplies, but just a normal store that accidentally had canvases. And I thought, hmm, maybe I would give it a try. But don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with the canvas. It's just not suitable for markers. I, I think I do need to experiment more to know what kind of surfaces would suit best for markers, besides drawing papers, of course. Or maybe just go to the art supply store and ask the employees there. And now I think the number one must have spec of it is smoothness. I mean, the surface of the canvas or the surface of something that I would be drawing on has to be smooth to sort of encourage the, the ink flows. Again, I really did struggle when making lines drawing on this canvas. It's just that sometimes there's a bump that kind of stops me from making a complete line. And that that's kind of like when you're driving on a road and suddenly there's a rock in the middle of the road and one of your car's tires hits the rock. And I think right there, the feeling is the same. All right. So this piece, when I first drew the first part of it, the one that kind of looks like um, some kind of animal, like a dragon or something, then I got too tired. Then I stopped for a while to take a nap. I didn't know that after napping, the sun, it, it went down already. So that's not good for a recording as I, I don't have any extra light sources that are good for recording. So I needed to wait to the next morning to continue. And it, it's kind of like working on a farm, I guess. If you think about it, we cannot really continue when it's dark. We need to go home, eat something, and then sleep, wait until the next morning to continue, right? Well, anyway, I waited until next morning and continue. Usually, when I see all, all the artists paint on canvases, it looks pretty chill and the brushes could be long or they can hold the brushes so that their hands are far away from the canvas and it's, it's good for recording. But here, here I use markers and it, it's just the same with holding normal pens so I can't really hold the markers the way all the artists holding their brushes. And also when I really need to draw in details, I, I need to, to put my head very close to the canvas. And it sort of blocks the view. So if sometimes you see my head is getting in a way, well, sorry about that. There's sometimes when I stop recording in the middle to take a break and then I rewatched the recent footages and sometimes it's like oh my god my head is all over the place and that's all that the camera can capture and that's when I realized for the second time that I should not draw on this canvas you know what this is this is too depressing now let's let's talk about something else um okay so yeah what do you guys usually do when you're bored all right i think i can go first i used to think when i'm bored 
I would do something even more boring than my situation, like cutting papers into many smaller pieces or to count how many leaves are there in the tree. This is kind of difficult, I can tell you, because leaves can be overlapping and it's really hard to remember which area that you've already counted. And I can say that I usually lose track easily when counting leaves on a tree. And I have never succeeded in doing that, ever. Well, um, let's see what else. Hmm. I can also dance. Not really dancing. It's just like making silly moves, whatever that I can think of. Or just go with the music. Well, this is kind of go against the statement of doing something even more boring that I just said earlier because dancing is fun but whatever um, I remember one time I went to a museum of modern art and I saw this piece which is a video of a man dancing or just jumping on a ship deck like when you're jumping on a trampoline or skipping ropes the caption of that piece said that he's also having depression and he just didn't know what to do and so so he was dancing like like that to imitate the sound of some part of the ship is making and he was doing it constantly in a very very long time and it sort of helped cheering him up or so I can't really remember and I thought that's kind of fascinating and I also tried that it, it's kind of fun at first and I thought my blood was circulating or something and it actually did help to boost up my mood I think it's the same result like after exercising well it's also exercising in a way um, even though I don't know what this is called but anyway after that I started to feel pain on my knees so I stopped if you want to do it I would suggest to do it in moderation like in five or ten minutes only anyway that's my answer now it's your turn tell me what do you usually do when you're bored all right back to the drawing at the end I would I I consider there's still something missing after I stopped recording then I found a silver uh, marker then I continued to put lines there using it but somehow I was doing it like impulsively and really enthusiastically so I kind of forgot to record that part but you can still see it now I'm gonna put the picture of it at the end um, yeah, so that's it um, this time. I hope you enjoyed it and have a good day and see you next time. Alright, take care.